I like the new Soul Symbol and Auction update. It adds more power to our heroes, allowing us to more easily complete game modes we couldn't already do. That's a good thing. Yes, it messes with PvP and screws things up for those people, but honestly, PvP was already messed up since the Cloud Island reworks happened, so that's perfectly normal and expected, and adjusting speed is honestly helpful for things like Seal Land and Tower of Dreams. So what am I talking about today? What have DH Games done with this update that is so bad? Well, it all stems down to this, the Soul Temple. What you do is you place a copy of a hero in, you then pay 100 of these starry gems and they will allow you to get a ranking on a hero. This ranking can be anywhere from E, which is terrible, all the way up to SSS, which is absolutely insanely valuable. And you might think, okay, well, we're just basically putting in this currency and randomly generating a hero. What is possibly wrong or dangerous about that? Well, it all comes down to the second part of the update, and that's the auction house. If you look at things that have previously sold, Jesus went and bought for a lot of money, 40,000 starry gems. Note that 2,500 starry gems are 100 bucks. So already this person here has spent $1,600 on this A- minus copy of Seer. Note that they've spent $1,000 on this copy of Vesa, and Artorius went ahead and bought this A- minus Seer right here for a whopping $800. Heroes are selling for a frightening amount of cash when it comes to Starry Gems. And you might say, yeah, but Starry Gems is just an in-game currency. Sure it is, but that in-game currency can be used to purchase things that are otherwise available for real money. If you look at this new update, the Starry Gem package allows you to buy packages we normally would buy with cash for Starry Gems. And to make matters worse, you can go to the auction house and you can gift Starry Gems to other players, which means there is a chance for a grey market system where people sell Starry Gems to each other and in return get real money. And it's that final point, real money, that means there is a way to cash out what you cash in on the game. And folks... That's gambling. By going into the Soul Temple, 100 Starry Gems will rank you up a hero. That ranking costs you five bucks to do. If you go to how much it costs to get these things, five bucks is gonna get you 100 Starry Gems. So let's say five bucks is gonna get you a ranking of a hero. It's four bucks sure if you buy them in bulk, but let's just say five bucks for now. That five bucks could become a really really valuable hero which you can then sell on the auction market just as happened here right and that can sell for in this case right here 1600 bucks that is gambling that is allowing you to turn an amount of money into a larger amount of money with significant risk because you can also go to the soul temple and get something rubbish the odds of ending up with an a minus seer are 0.015 percent that's really really low odds and it scales up crazily to s and above i don't know if you've seen guys but we have the first of its kind an s hero entering the market and the asking price is absolutely astronomical and you might say what is the justification for a bidding price of 158 thousand gems well actually it's pretty simple if you go to the Soul Temple, you can disassemble the copy of a hero. And most people are only going to be disassembling heroes like my E plus Queen right here. And that's not too wild. But if you scroll down, an S hero disassembles for 50,000 starry gems. An SS is 100,000. And an SSS is 200,000 starry gems. Remember that you can buy 100 for 5 bucks. The value is insane on an SSS and SS hero, and it adds so much to an account. If you're a free-to-play player that goes ahead and gets yourself an S hero, I would either whack that on the market and straight up disassemble it, but you'll probably get a better payout if it's on the market because the disassemble is the base value. This is the minimum it is worth because you can just destroy it and get that much in your account. Sure, it becomes contract starry gems, which means you won't be able to trade these with other players, but that doesn't really matter when there's an entire system in the game in place where you can just spend that on your account and you can inevitably just play idle heroes for free but still end up with a load of stuff and that means again i'll say it you're gambling there is no other way around this it is gambling and there is no age restriction on this either which means children are able to literally gamble their starry gems for more starry gems which are inevitably something that has a real world value this is dangerous this means that DH games are skirting along a line which could get this game banned in many countries. The UK government said 
in the last month that if game companies do not crack down on selling loot boxes to children, that they will implement regulations that will cripple games like this. Games like Idle Heroes that introduce systems like this are shooting themselves in the foot because there are literally laws all over the world. In Belgium, Netherlands are cracking down on things like this. In fact, in 2019, they put out laws that prevented people from opening loot boxes or severely monitored loot boxes in games. In fact, I think the people that run Counter-Strike specifically do not allow people in Belgium and the Netherlands to open boxes that get you skins. This is serious stuff. In some countries, people can't even gamble channel points on Twitch because of laws like this that are in place, because enabling gambling habits is bad. It starts with this, and suddenly you find them in the casino. Why on earth would you expose children to this kind of mechanic? It is ridiculous. The update itself is fantastic. The things it offers are really cool, and having powerful heroes in the game is a neat thing. It didn't have to be the way it is, though. It doesn't need to be this ridiculously sliding scale of rarity, where the power creep is bonkers and whales are willing to spend thousands of dollars to get their hands on even just an A-minus hero. What we see right now is something incredibly dangerous that could see a massive crackdown against DH games, and we could see a game that we love getting removed from the Google Play Store, and in many, many countries, it might be banned entirely. For me, as a content creator, this is serious implications because I live in the United Kingdom. And as I said, this month, the UK government have announced that they are going to seriously crack down on games companies unless they prevent children from being exposed to systems like this. Many people would argue that this isn't gambling though, because all you're doing is getting a ranked hero. But because you can flip that rank hero for a value in the auction house and inevitably get a currency back, or the fact that you can disassemble that ranked hero for a value here, it doesn't seem to me like this isn't gambling. It is a grey area, and it is a little more in the step of gambling than some loot box systems we've seen in the past. It, you literally are playing with this currency. That's how it works. And this currency can be directly purchased. It's not exactly subtle. And I just really worry for DH games right now because if they're not careful, they could see themselves getting into a lot of trouble. And that spells disaster for all of us as a community, including me as a content creator. So hopefully by sharing this and making you guys aware of this, I have shed some light on an otherwise dangerous system. Loot boxes have been a topic of controversy in the gaming world for several, several years now. But with the fact that the UK government has put out this statement and Belgium and Netherlands already having serious laws in place, you know, we find ourselves in a situation where this could seriously backfire on DH games. As well, you see that there's odds all over this game. That is because of laws that China has put in place against gaming companies. And that's why we see percentage chances of everything all over Idle Heroes. It's nice, but I don't think it's enough because it doesn't stop kids from being exposed to gambling. We've seen those horror stories where mums have said that, oh no, my kid got my card and suddenly spent a ton on FIFA packs, or oh no, my child just got a ton of Overwatch skins and now we're broke. It happens. It's ridiculous. And the fact that there is player-to-player -player trading being facilitated in-game, it makes this even more dangerous because it allows external currency from the real world to come back into the game, making this very real gambling. And that terrifies me because all it takes is one good lawyer or one crackdown from a government official and we could see this game burning itself alive. And that is a disaster. Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comment section. I'm genuinely worried and it's just been on my mind. So I felt like I'd make this video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy idling.